So Bank of America is offering 100% financing, no mortgage insurance, no minimum credit score, no loan amount, alt doc, meaning your credit will be ranked based on your ability to pay your phone bill on time or your utility bill. And if you can do these two things, you get the greatest loan ever written in the history of the world. Oh yeah, there is one more thing. You have to be black or Hispanic to get this. That's just the qualifying guidelines, people. Now there's a few elephants in the room, but the very first one, the obvious one is, hey, ABL, isn't that racism to have a loan for one group of people and not the other? How can they do that? How is that legal? Well, I think the key is that they didn't say the loans are for black and Hispanic people. They said the loans are for black and Hispanic neighborhoods, communities, meaning areas that have a high black and or high Hispanic population. That's how they're going to get around it. Bank of America Corporation started a trial program aimed at helping first-time homebuyers in Black and Hispanic neighborhoods by offering mortgages that don't require down payments, closing costs, or minimum credit scores. All considered long-time obstacles to narrowing the gap between white and minority ownership. Customers using the program will be evaluated for a home loan not by credit scores, but rather other factors such as their history of making rent, utility, phone, and auto insurance payments on time, says B of A in a statement on Tuesday. The program will be tested in certain predominantly black and Hispanic areas of Dallas, Detroit, Los Angeles, Miami, and Charlotte, North Carolina. But Bank of America would not disclose the planned size of the program, which may be expanded later to other cities. You've got to be kidding me on this one. Not to mention, this is the worst idea in the history of mortgage underwriting ever. Why? Because these loans are going to fail. We know this before we even write the loans, and yet we're still going to write these loans. Don't listen to me. Listen to the Urban Institute and see what they have to say about this. Lower down payment loans perform worse, all things being equal, but all things are not equal. So says Lori Goodman, an institute fellow at the nonprofit Urban Institute, speaking generally about programs and not of B of A's in particular. She goes on to say that there is a way to offer these loans where it isn't as risky, where other factors can more than compensate for a low down payment. And there is an argument, she added, for taking on a slightly higher probability of default in order to give people the opportunity to build wealth. I don't know if you guys caught how slippery that was, what she just said. It's kind of antiseptic though, don't you think? Very sterile. We are going to compassionately let you fail on this loan. We have created a loan that looks like we care, but what you're missing is we don't. And these loans are going to radically underperform and we know it because we've done this before, but we're going to do it again because it gives you the illusion that we care, but trust me, we don't. They just clean cleaned this whole thing all up and still revealed the truth that we all know. These loans are a write-off before they've ever been written in the first place. Applicants don't need to disclose their race and U.S. census data will be used to determine that eligible neighborhoods are predominantly black or Hispanic, according to Barclay. There's no minimum or maximum loan size under this new offering, which qualifies as an FDIC special purpose credit program. Have we not learned our lesson before? This sounds like 2008 all over again. All right, so let's just talk about this. It's a no down payment, no loan limit, no qualifying, no DTI. It is the new Nina subprime loan that Bank of America is coming out with. It's the no income, no asset loan offering by Bank of America. Bravo, bravo. So it's really pretty straightforward, isn't it? You want to work with more realtors because they're going to get you more referrals and those referrals are going to turn into people borrowing other people's money, which you provide. So Listing Booster is the greatest icebreaker that you could possibly have with a realtor. And oh yeah, it's also going to make you and them more money. All you have to do to learn more is click this banner right over there.